Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm 49 years old. I've been married to Ethan for the better part of 20 years, and with our son flying the nest for college last year, I've had some extra time on my hands. With our son's expenses, though, I started a part time gig. Being a stay at home mom since our son was born, it was a little rough at first, like a fish out of water. But lately, my work's been picking up my ideas, and it felt great being part of the team. I even piped up to Ethan, who was zoned out on the TV. Hey, Ethan, guess who's getting a pay bump? It's nice to have the hard work noticed, you know? But then out of nowhere, Ethan pipes up with, So you think you can make it on your own now? I thought maybe I'd misheard his casual chatter, but when I asked for clarity, he looks me dead in the eye and drops a bombshell. I've been meaning to tell you this. His smug smirk sent chills down my spine. I found someone else cuter. Don't need you anymore. I was floored. Do us a favor and pick up the divorce papers and a new marriage license from the city office tomorrow. He says, as if he's talking about the weather. I was lost for words. What the hell are you talking about? So he's dumping me for some chick? And he's planning to marry her? As the reality of the situation began to sink in, I could feel myself shaking. Ethan just laughed in my face. Oh, I can still live as a man, unlike you who seems to have forgotten what it's like to be a woman. We've been like roommates for years, so why keep pretending? His words were a slap in the face. It's not that I've lost my femininity, it's just hard to feel any attraction towards an overweight middle-aged slob. Anger bubbled up inside me, but all I could do was laugh. Tired. Busy. Too much trouble. You're the one who's been avoiding me. And now, you want to live it up as some macho man? Oh, please. He snapped. What's so funny? Watch your mouth, old lady. He barked, throwing all sorts of insults my way. He leaned back, arms folded, gloating. Adriana is a different story. She thinks I'm the best boyfriend. She's proud of me. But you? You're all about work and promotions. Is that all that makes you happy? Ethan kept going on about his new squeeze, Adriana. And the way he belittled me, stung like a bee. Adriana? Sounds like a mistress name if I ever heard one. Ethan carried on with a chest-puffing speech about Adriana's glamorous nightlife job and how she's over a decade younger than him, in her mid-twenties. The icing on the cake? She's carrying his child. I mean, age gap marriages aren't exactly rare these days, but the thought of a soon-to-be dad of a 20-year-old knocking up a woman, barely older than his own kid, just sickening. You need love in life, he said with an air of grandeur. Not with someone cold and stale like you, but with someone fresh and warm like Adriana. If love doesn't last with her, it's not worth the dime. My husband started ranting like a madman, his words tumbling over each other. So that's his game? Buying affection with cash? He conveniently forgets his own age, picking a fresh-faced young thing. So you've ditched me for a reckless young girl who doesn't blink at messing around with a married man for his money. When I threw this in his face, he snapped back. It's not about the cash. I've told you, it's love. In any case, I mean business. I gotta marry Adriana pronto make her feel secure. You just pack up your stuff and beat it. His audacity was something else. It left me dumbstruck. But then the hilarity of it all started to seep in. 
I mean, when was the last time he even mentioned the word love? I bet you dollars to donuts he'll soon be as indifferent to this Adriana as he is to me. With time, as age creeps in, these ephemeral emotions fade. Heck, those nasty words he's hurling at me will be aimed at her next. Honestly, Ethan, you're a sad sight. I should have seen this coming before we tied the knot. Looking back, I managed all the household chores and child rearing single-handedly. Far from lending a hand, he turned into Mr. Critic, highlighting all my shortcomings. Despite living in times when such behavior was deemed normal, he never once showed appreciation, let alone expressed love. And now he's tossing me aside, the woman who's busted her hump for him for some younger model. His sanity was a real question mark. But Ethan brushed off my words as nothing more than sour grapes. If that's the case, there's no problem, right? Anyway, get those papers ready by next week. Make sure you've got everything. He said before retreating to his man cave. For several days, I spent countless sleepless nights, tears of frustration refusing to dry up. I tried to put on a brave face, but on his day off, Ethan had the nerve to invite his mistress to our house. Hola, Ethan's ex-wife. I'm here to help with the paperwork, said Adriana, humming a tune and lounging on our sofa with her legs crossed. As Ethan mentioned, her skin looked smooth, and her looks oozed confidence. The heavy makeup and the risque clothes suited her nightlife job. A dangerously plunging neckline and a skirt so short it'd make even a woman like me blush. But I could tell she didn't love my husband. If my gut was right, she was here for one thing. I had already steeled myself for a divorce. I faced her. I had no intention of fighting back, but something about her demeanor bothered me. So, you're Adriana, right? You started seeing him knowing full well he was taken? By calling me an ex, you do understand what you're stepping into, right? She giggled. I'm not an idiot, lady. Don't look down on me. You're the soon-to-be has-been. I'm his soon-to-be missus. See? Simple stuff. She smugly smirked at me with a slurred voice. Gotcha. Thanks for spelling it out. And good thing I got all that recorded. So you do realize I can now demand alimony from you, right? I showed her the recorder that had been capturing every word of our conversation. She rolled her eyes and shot a complaint at my husband. E-man, you promised the old bat wouldn't butt in. You've gone back on your word. My husband tried to calm the agitated woman. Chill, Addie. I've got this all under control. E-man, Hattie? Listening to them was like nails on a chalkboard. While I cringed, my husband produced some paperwork. Here, sign the divorce papers with these terms. It laid out the specifics of our divorce, including alimony and splitting the pension. Wait, you're handling over $300,000 to this old lady? That's gonna bite into my portion. Without any prodding, she blatantly spilled out her true intentions. My cut's getting smaller, she kept repeating. It all clicked. She was eyeing the inheritance my husband was about to receive from his late father. Easy, Addie. This includes child support, too. To Ethan's forgiving eyes, even her bare-faced attitude appeared charming. So, it's like hush money. Quite a sum. I grappled to keep my rising anger in check. And nevertheless, I felt a sense of reassurance. My intuition had been spot on. If you can put the divorce terms into a notarial deed, that works for me. 
and I'd like the payment in one go, please. I put in, keeping my response to the bare minimum. My husband agreed to these conditions, fully aware our conversation was being recorded. Happy now? Encouraged by the woman who looked like she'd rather be anywhere else, we completed the divorce papers. Listen, old lady, I need you out by the end of the month. I've already cancelled my lease, she stated. I'll file the divorce papers once the notarial deed is ready. I'll move out right after the stun, I answered back. It seemed she was all set to move in ASAP, so she grumbled a bit before reluctantly taking off. After a bit, the notarial deed was processed, and our divorce was officially in the works. And just as expected, the woman came to give me the boot. Come on, shake a leg. Stop dragging your feet and get moving. She was practically giddy as she announced. I just submitted the marriage license. I'm now E-Man's wife. This gorgeous house is all mine. Prancing around like she owned the place. I reluctantly handed over the front door key. But I had a question I wanted to clarify, so I asked. Isn't Ethan around the same age as your folks? If you're calling me an old lady, then Ethan, who's older than me, should be an old geezer. Why'd you pick him as your husband? Her unabashed response matched my predictions to a T. E-Man is a big shot at a top-tier company. This house is a cool, detached place close to the station, fresh off a recent remodel. And that furniture... I'll just replace it to suit my taste. She was lost in a dream. E-Man treats me like a queen. He's not exactly a stud and he's an old guy, but he says he'll buy me anything I want. She was smirking at me as if she had her future set in stone. The picture of smug satisfaction. I hope it all pans out for you. I muttered, sighing as I left the house that had been my home for so many years. I ended up moving into a dormitory at a certain university. It was pretty rare these days, but they hired me as a live-in dorm mother. Actually, up until that point, I was working part-time in a corporate cafeteria. But when Ethan and I split up, I thought it was time for a change, and set off for new beginnings in a different place. When I let my boss in on what was happening, they went to bat for me with upper management, probably because they'd always valued my work ethic. Right at that moment, a position opened up due to someone retiring. I was thankful for the opportunity and accepted the job at the dormitory. I was truly grateful for my nutritionist certification then. The rent and utilities were a total steal. Even though I didn't get much free time to hang out, it was a great place to work, and I enjoyed my job. Fast forward three months into my new life, and guess who rings me up? My ex-husband. He said, Mom's really struggling. Can you lend a hand with her care? I couldn't believe the gall of him to even ask. We're pretty much strangers now. Shouldn't your new wife be the one stepping up? When I pointed out the obvious, he said, But Adriana is pregnant, and it's dangerous because mom's got dementia and starts throwing stuff. As if it's okay for her to hurl things at me instead? That logic blew my mind, but no way was I going for it. I told him, point blank, We're not a part of each other's lives anymore. Don't call me again. Now, don't get me wrong. She'd been my mother-in-law for 20 years since we got hitched, and it wasn't like we were constantly at each other's throats or anything. But we weren't exactly besties either. And hello, I just started living on my own. I didn't have time to go help out at someone else's place. But somehow, Ethan figured out where I was and he and his new wife showed up at my door. He said, We can't handle it. If you can't help with the care, give back the alimony we paid. I was astounded he'd even say that. 
I responded coolly. I really don't think I owe you guys anything. Then his wife gave me this nasty glare. You knew and tricked us, didn't you? The inheritance I was counting on is nothing, and moreover, it's all debt! She tossed a bunch of paperwork at me and documents scattering everywhere as she let loose a tirade. How dare you accuse me of tricking you? You just jumped to the conclusion that he was loaded, didn't you? Good grief. I gave an exaggerated shrug. True, when I was dealing with my late father-in-law's estate, I discovered Ethan was up to his eyeballs in debt. In a normal situation, I could have simply declined the inheritance, but Ethan, in all his wisdom, had already cancelled his dad's cell service and hawked his household goods and jewelry for quick cash before we even got the ball rolling. You see, there's a law in this county stating that if you've messed with the estate before declining an inheritance, you can't back out, and that's exactly what went down. So guess who ended up shouldering the debt? Ethan and his darling new wife. Feeling a bit smug, I said, Ethan, you dumped the whole inheritance mess on me and never bothered to ask questions. And guess what, Adriana? He pawned off that property just to keep you in the picture. When I let that one fly, he was like, You should have told me such an important thing. But I was already a step ahead. It's you who should have been asking questions. You both are going to have to own up to this. What? I don't know anything about that, and I didn't hear anything. His wife went sheet white and started panicking. So you're just going to play dumb, pocket the cash, and bolt? They both started pushing, but honestly, it's not my circus. You're spouting some wild nonsense, you realize? If you had kept it in your pants, you wouldn't have had to hustle for your mistress's sake. And you could have easily said no thanks to the inheritance. You're the mastermind behind this whole debacle. I shot back. He grunted and reeled back, as if I'd hit a nerve. And you, Adriana, knew the guy was married, when after his doe even had a kid and kicked me to the curb. You're in this pickle because you asked for it. I gave it to her straight, a woman young enough to be my own child. If I had known it would end up like this, I wouldn't have cozied up to some old geezer. But I wasn't done yet. Do you remember the divorce decree? All I got from Ethan was alimony, a slice of his pension, and child support. But apart from that, I have every right to claim damages from you. What? Isn't $300,000 enough for you? You're just plain greedy. She shrieked, hurling curses at me in shock. You bet. I would have let bygones be bygones if you two, who've got nothing to do with me now, had just let me live my life. But no, you've got to go twisting things around, demanding that I look after Ethan's mother asking for alimony back. Totally out of line. Even I have my limits. When I dropped the bomb that I had recorded all our talks about the divorce and intended to go after damages full throttle, she sprinted away without a backward glance. As I watched her retreat, I turned to Ethan, who was still rooted to the spot, gobsmacked. Can she even run like that in the final trimester? Is she really preggers? And now that she's bolted, where's the so-called love? My questions left him at a loss for words. Oh, I messed up. Please, come back. His teary-eyed pleading only made him look even more worn out. No, Dice. Time for you to hit the road. Lauren. His voice cracked and he broke down. My ex-husband looked utterly pitiful, but given his past actions, sympathy was out of the question. As I figured, Adriana vanished into thin air, leaving only the divorce papers behind. Apparently, even her pregnancy was a lie. My ex got stuck dealing with the debt and his mom's care all by his lonesome, and from what I heard, he's practically withered away from the stress and burnout. As for me, I've found my groove as a dorm mother, looking after kids the same age as my son. 
People have even been saying lately that I look years younger. I plan on keeping my feet on the ground, steering clear of trouble, and living life with a straight arrow. Folks, treat carefully when it comes to divorce. <laughs>